Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on the gold market. In first glance, the oral performance in the gold market looks not very impressive, so over price action looks and stands gradual, choppy, and uh, actually here is, we do not have a lot of different patterns that we could definitely say that it will be interesting to trade on the common week. But as you know, currently fundamental factors have really tricky situation. Uh, with this uh, uncertainty about the treatment of the Donald Trump, uh, which has the positive test on the virus, and that makes investors nervous. And we see, despite that we don't have really big performance, we see uh, really warning moments based on recent Committee of Traders report. So the two things that is uh, necessary to tell here. First one, if you'll take a look at the speed of one statistics, you will see an recent drop and has followed here on the gold market from the 1972-1936 area, 1940, I'm sorry, 1840, right here. You will not see in the speed of one any sell-off of the reserves. So long-term investors still keep the long positions, not hurry to sell them. This first moment. Second moment, I will tell you more than this week. The reserves of the Spider Fund even increased. Gold market also starts rising, but it stands near the local bottom. While if you will take a look at the chart that we have uh, placed in the report today, you will see that the reserves of the Spider Fund stands here as an upward compared to chart. So some divergence exists between them. This is first moment. Second moment. Uh, commitment of traders report shows massive closing of all positions in the gold market. This week, investors closing the speculative position, hedgers position, spreading position, longs position, shorts positions, all positions have been closed. And the result, market has lost 10% of the open interest on the futures market. So it's more than the 100,000 contracts on the gold. What does it mean? It means the same story that has happened in March when the situation was really tough when investors were running into the cash. This is a uh, run for cash. So it means that investors selling assets, trying to accumulate cash and put them in cash uh, instruments. So such as the short term bonds, it's maybe even just the United States treasuries and accumulating the just net cash positions as a result you can see that Mr. just selling the gold, uh, getting the margin that stands as a, as a, a collateral for, for the positions and sit on the cash. Uh, as all positions were selling, as shorts and the longs, in the same amount approximately, gold market has changed has not changed the price. But if the demand for the cash will continue, we could see maybe downward continuation here. That's the first moment. Uh, so the situation stands not really simple with this. At the same time, uh, we do not expect that gold definitely will start dropping again just because even light uh, scenario of the Donald Trump recovery will take at least one, two weeks. Or at least, I think, that seven, ten days uh, where the, it will be clear what's going on. In this period, and in particular in the common week, hardly we will see the big sell-off in the gold. So probably uh, this situation, is, as it stands and keeps risk actually against the United States dollar itself, because it's domestic currency for the United States and Donald Trump is a president. So uh, that will keep gold on the surface. And we think that if even downward continuation will happen, and the trend that we have here, some longer term tendency that we have for this downward action will continue. That will happen probably not on the coming week. 
it will be in the best case it will be within the two weeks or even maybe later so the downward continuation probably we, we need to postpone this uh, besides if you'll take a look at the weekly chart you will see that here we have Chodnapoli bullish stretch pattern uh, that also suggests some upper continuation nevertheless as usual since we have the technical uh, tools we will use them trying to catch the right moment uh, where the when their upper direction might be over uh, and what particular targets could be of this upper direction so just to uh, trying to uh, get the moment where a market could reverse to the downside uh, for the daily traders this is not important because uh, we actually were uh, are waiting just for 18 even area because that's our major level to consider for taking the long position while for the intraday traders that could be important and on the daily chart as you can see i have planned the well a bit wide but that is actually the the uh, major level to keep an eye on so it's uh, 1935 1951 but also take a look on this blue circles that is a reaction point additional reaction points and if you will plot the levels from these levels uh, from these points as well you could get additionally two 618 levels that makes this confluence more narrow so in fact you have here the cluster of different levels but just to set the borders of this range i have taken the ultimate levels to just show the both uh, borders for for this confidence level uh, so uh, to keep the bearish scenario valid market should not break through this confidence so breaking above acceleration for the tr trend line significantly increases chances of the further upper continuation that probably will be based on some fundamental background hardly it will happen occasionally especially taking into consideration overall fundamental situation that we have currently that other factors do not support any rally in the gold. We don't have liquidity measures. We don't. We we have a positive mood on the Brexit negotiations because, as the Boris Johnson, as the uh, Angela Merkel, has said about some positive, optimistic view on the uh, negotiations that currently stand, and they tell that probably they should come to agreement or some break, breakthrough in agreement uh, in early November. So that's really really important. Uh, overall statistics on the economy is not really very bad so other factors do not support car, or at least right at this moment any strong rally on the gold uh, and uh, definitely if the breakout will happen that will be some fundamental background so that's been said on the daily chart that's our important level crucial level to keep an eye on so market should not break it to keep the worst scenario intact uh, for the intraday traders, what you could keep an eye on. So on the follow time frame chart, you could see the market currently challenging the first intraday resistance. It's 1912, 1970. Also, this uh, natural resistance area because it protects the range of the triangle. So the market already is challenging this level. The breakout from this level opened the road right to the 1951. Our target is possible upward action. Because in this case, market turns inside the triangle range, which is free area for a fluctuation, and it easily could rise right to the 1951. So that's important level that you could keep an eye on. On the hourly chart, uh, we could base our monitoring of the market on this a bit, well, let's call it a kind of hand and shoulder special, something of that sort. Uh, for that purpose, you can see that market first need to drop somewhere 1880 area this will be harmonic to these lows 50 percent support maybe it will be slightly higher maybe slightly low maybe 618 but anyway that's a, will be an area around 1880 and then if market still stands on the bullish way it should start upper action potential target of this head and shoulders patient precisely is 1950. so that's potentially where retracement should be over and that the passion that we intend to keep an eye on on within the next week so this probably will be interesting only for intraday traders depending on your view you could act accordingly so for for example if you're searching chance to go long you could consider 1880 area to buy gold controlling the breakout of the confluence 1917 and with the potential ultimate target around 1950 that will be the trade 
for the bearish view for bearish traders uh, you could keep an eye on either on the failure of the market right here so it will be downside breakout acceleration back to these lows that will be clear sign that market is dropping and uh, it will be downward continuation or waiting for the same level if no breakout will be market indeed will reverse up here keep an eye on the 1950 that will be the chance to go short because here at the first bounce at least we will get some probable response here out from this level so be strong resistance so technical bounce here well, um, makes relatively um, safe opportunity to take the short position besides we will see what will happen there of course if it will be some rally right to the 950 breakout so definitely we will not take the short gradual action forming some butterfly sale for example somewhere on the top that's what we will be watching for so that's guys what we intend to do on the common week on the gold let's see how situation will change because currently uh, the fundamental picture is very uh, very very changeable so it's uh, really could change even not in the days but from one hour to another and it's uh, really could bring some additional volatility on the market so uh, but currently on the technical side we see these particular patterns uh, particular particular uh, levels and let's see how market will deal with this all this stuff